Hi, I'm Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And today we're going to be participating in Tech Ambrosia's annual Cheap PC Challenge. Say that three times, right? Anyway, she's been doing this for a number of years and I'm not a PC person, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And so, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And she has this every year. I'll put a link in her website, the Cheap PC Challenge for 2023 and things that you have to know. So the criteria is CPU, GPU, motherboard, plus RAM. Uh, you have a $100 budget. If you go over budget, you lose points. If you're under budget, you gain points. So I'm under budget, thank goodness. And so anyway, the criteria is you have to run Passmark version 9. That's one of the benchmarks. And then the next one you got to do is the Frozen Planet demo. And then the third benchmark is the Google Octane 2.0. That one right there. And you have a deadline, December 31st, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. in your local time. So time is wasting. Now I have a lot of YouTube friends and we did this on a stream. Uh, Trina from Trina's Technobabble, uh, she wanted to say, oh, I'll help you, Dave. I'll, I'll help you. I'm the, I'm the expert on this. And she is very knowledgeable on PCs. So uh, needless to say, uh, she's a pretty rough teacher. Uh, we love you, Trina. But anyway, she helped me out a lot. And also other people on the stream are very knowledgeable on PCs as well. Uh, Jason uh, goes by Gut Bomb. Uh, we have uh, Garth Beagle, he has a great YouTube channel. Uh, Martin Mack, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, Eric from Eric's Edge, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, we have um, uh, Frederick, micro hobbyist, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, Will from KMac Vintage and Thomas from Mega Rochester. They're all very knowledgeable people. So anyway, I know nothing about PCs. I reached out to Tech Ambrosia. She's also been on several of our streams. And I asked her, hey, I found this thing in the dumpster. Could I enter it? And she goes, as long as it runs DirectX 10, yeah, you can do it. So that's what I did. So I had help from all of them getting the software loaded on it and things of that nature. And uh, so anyway, it was a, a very successful test. And again, watch the stream. If you want a lot of laughs, Trina, boy. She'd make a great drill sergeant. So anyway, this is the machine. When I found this thing in the dumpster, it was a mess. It was wet because it was raining outside. It was covered with mud, dirt. Uh, it looked like something might have been living in it at one time. So I brought it home, sat in the garage for a couple weeks, and I worked on it during a live stream. And that's when people said, oh, yeah, you should really uh, see if you can get this thing up and going to Internet and Tech Ambrosia's uh, Cheap PC Challenge. I said, okay. So that's what I did. So we totally dismantled this thing. The, the, uh, the fan on this thing was just loaded up with dust. I pulled the plastic front off of it, nasty mud behind there. Uh, took the optical drive out, the power supply off, and you know, just gave it a real good clean. So, hey, it looks pretty nice now. I was very surprised, but it was missing all the cables, no hard drive, uh, only had one little stick of RAM in it, and the optical drive was unknown if it even worked. There's no floppy drive in it which is no, no big deal. But anyway, yeah, so first order of business, we had to get some RAM for this thing. So that's what I did. I ordered a 32 gigabyte uh, RAM kit. I got that from eBay and uh, got that for a pretty good, decent price, I felt. Uh, you know, all the RAM modules are the same and that's what I paid for it right there and got it pretty quick, got that in the machine. But the next order of business was getting the proprietary power supply cables that are from Dell, or from HP rather. And so I finally got those. I did order some from Amazon. Those are the wrong ones. I did find some on eBay, got the right ones. So anyway, after that, then we had to get a nice GPU. And what I mean by nice is it's better than the stock one. This isn't the worst. This isn't the best. This is a AMD Radeon R5 3400X. And I got a really good deal on it. And again, off of eBay and uh, had everything. I had to download all the drivers for the uh, Radeon because uh, otherwise it wouldn't work. But that's why I paid for it there. And uh, it works pretty darn good. So this is uh, what it looks like now, top view of it. All the cables are in there, it all functions. It's got Windows 10 on it. It's got all the benchmark things that we have to benchmark on it. And it runs pretty good. The optical drive works fine actually. I was very surprised. So yeah, so it's a, it's a nice little machine, I have to admit. So, 
Uh, that's my pass mark uh, rating right there, the performance test. Then the next one was the, uh, the Lost Planet, the cave shot of it there. And then uh, we did the Octane uh, Google test, the uh, Octane uh, version 2.0. And that's what my Octane scores were there. All right, so the RAM was $48.99. The GPU was $29.88. The total was $78.87 for a grand total of $78.87. Plus, we were under budget of $21.13. I will let Tech Amber do all the scoring because I am terrible at math, Amber. So anyway, this is the raw results. Uh, let me know uh, if I did anything wrong. Uh, I appreciate it. And anyway, so you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.